What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame Four. In this video we're going to be doing stage 105 the inside rear door parts. We're going to be installing the rear door as well by the looks of it and then the other thing we're going to be doing on this is going to be the right rear fender and skirting which is 106. So we're going to go grab all the pieces out. You will need the door to build onto of 105. We're going to go grab all the pieces out for that and we'll be back in just a second. Okay guys, once you've got all your pieces out, what you want to do is obviously check them off, make sure you're happy with them. It's telling us what we're going to be doing, the inner panels and the rear door handle, which is going to be really cool. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do, we just need to put this out of the way for a second, because we're going to be building onto this section here. So it's saying for us to make figure A, which is installing 105 and um, times two, which are going to be these chrome inserts. So all we need to do again is just make sure that they go onto 105B, which is the door card itself, and then just push them in slowly as we do them, making sure not to break them as we go. So if you start to push them in, if it doesn't start going in very easily, just take them out and start again try them in a different one the only thing is they give you the same numbers so they're kind of saying that they go on that door that way round. if one of them clicks in like that one just did generally the others will follow suit and it is that way round to go just checking this one there we go so that fits in there nicely so then hopefully this one We'll go in and follow suit nicely as well. Perfect. And there's this bit. Perfect. This bit. It's going to go in perfect. Yeah, perfect. So we've got full house. So that's the chrome strip along the top. As you can see, they stick through the bottom here. So they're 105 times two and they go along the bottom here. So that's that chrome strip just along there. 105A is going to be the handle which just sits in here and it's in a locating place and it is a show handle as well it isn't one that actually works and that is going to be held in by an EP screw so we're just going to quickly pop an EP screw in there if we can and it has a locating lug so just make sure when you're getting towards the end that it's still inside that location um, it doesn't actually work so it won't do anything so that sits like that and then you will need to take the top trim here which is this black trim 105d and that is going to sit over the top of this so you just want to make sure it goes around the right way there we go and then what we're going to do is pop two ep screws in from the inside of that so one just goes in there just going to pop them in shouldn't take long just pop one in there And then there's another EP screw that just goes down here on the other top edge. Um, I'm guessing that there is one spare because it usually is on every uh, issue. And I'm thinking that will be the spare EP screw. And what I'll do is I'll just pop that one away just so we don't get that mixed up when we're building it a little bit more later on. So that's now in place, lovely. Perfect. So that sits along the top edge, just like that, like a kind of buffer along the top. On the back, at the top here, two EP screws hold that in place. As I said, I'm gonna pop that EP screw away, because I don't think we're gonna need that anymore. What we need to do now, is we now need to grab the door, the door itself, which is just here, and then this card, We'll just sit over the top to cover all this up. It sits over there absolutely perfect. See that? It's went on absolutely perfect. Take it back off again. It just sits over there like that. And then you want one, two, three, four EM screws. So we've got EM screws just here. I'm going to pop those in and we'll be back in just a sec. 
There you go guys, so that was pretty quick. So they were all the EM screws there. So there's one here, one there, one there, one there. They're holding that in place. And then we need to now need to take 105E, which is this top trim panel here, which is all cut out pre ready to go. And that just sits up here covering those screws at the top. And then they're gonna be held in by two little SM screws. So I'm gonna take these two little weeny teeny SM screws, pop those in, and we'll be back to show you what this looks like at the end. So there you go guys, that's nice and flush on there now. So that is the top section into place, fits in really nice. And those screws are flush with the panel itself. So they look really nice, absolutely incredible. So, and this is what it looks like on the back. Looking good, right? So we can pop away the EM screw because we know we're not going to use that. So sometimes it's better to pop away the ones you know you're not going to be using anymore. So just put that in there. And then we need to go take and install a 66F and then it should tell us what 66F is so it will say place the hinge from the rear door in the bracket at the back of the body frame figure A cover this with the rear hinge cover 105 so it says return the chassis section of the model and unplug the rear door switch 66F and it's marked with a T so I'm just going to go down here be back in two secs and we're going to find the one marked with a T which is just here and what we need to do is we're going to come around there and we're going to install it from that side. So let's go around and have a look. See if we can do it and show you at the same time. So we're going to be working on the rear door. Oh. Here. Oops. So what it's asking for us to do, let's have a look. It's asking for us to put that switch just in the bottom section down there like so. So that's not gonna to be too hard to do. And plus it's actually got a hole in it. So we've got to put an HM screw in there. So I'm gonna bring it around a little bit more so you can see, because we're gonna just be doing it in that bottom corner. And it wants the switch to face upwards like this. And we've got to put the screw in down in the bottom here. So let's pop the screw in first. Let's go get our big screwdriver here. And then what we're going to do, we're going to try and do this while we're holding and showing. And that should... Go into that section there. I'm gonna have to put a different screwdriver to hold that in. Screw that up. Don't want to go too tight because it should just be sitting in there nicely. It's not loose at all. There we go. And that's where that sits for now. And the next thing he wants us to do, he wants us to go grab the door itself, which we can do. And then we're going to just pop that in to there. It fits so nice. Everything fits so nice when we do this. And then the other thing we're going to be doing is taking this little bracket here. And then this little bracket is just going to sit over the top of that, like so. And then what it wants us to do, it wants us to pop the two RM screws over there to hold that on. So I'm just going to try and line them up while I try and hold it all at the same time. This is just to start it off. Get another one in place. Just there. And then we're going to go and screw that up. Hold it in nicely. So 
so that it's nice and tough and then we're gonna test it to make sure it's all in place good I feel like that's in nicely right so then we should test the door Ooh, it's quite stiff but works well um, it's in there nice and easy does it push the switch how it should do? I'm guessing so. I think it does. So I think it pushes the switch down. And it clicks into place nice. There you go. How cool is that? So again, remember guys, we do have now another cable hovering around here. Not really doing a lot. So you will need to bear that in mind. I'm just going to grab these little screws over then we'll go get out the pieces for the next issue that we're going to be doing in this one. Make sure everything's away. There we go. I'm just going to pop that on there nicely and move this over. So that was the rear door. That was great. And then the last bit we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing 106 which is the right rear fender and skirting so that's just here guys i'm going to go grab these out and we'll be back in just a sec guys as you can see all the pieces are out and this is going to be a nice easy one so i'm kind of glad that i got it in with the uh, rear door because it's going to be so small and easy to do so we just put that into place so this is 106a 106b inserts into there like so you need to turn it around this way uh, and then if we need to put two BM screws in to hold that trim in place. So we're just going to quickly go do that now. We don't really need to fast forward or anything. So I'm just going to start them off. And then we're going to use the other screwdriver to do them up nice and tight. There we go. We'll use the big screwdriver to do them up. There we go, and the next one is here. There we go. So basically, all it wants us to do is to screw that into place like that. So I'm just gonna pop this BM screw away. Such an easy build that bit there. Uh, I can't wait to do more with you guys. We're gonna have a quick look to see what we've got up and coming, and then we'll just show you the end result of this. I don't want to ruin this for you, so I'm not going to show you. So in the next lot of issues, um, issue 29, we're going to be doing these. So if you guys are excited and you want to see these being done, um, please remember to like, share and subscribe. And we will be doing that in the next ones. Just going to quickly pull this over so you can see what we did in this one. So we did the rear door, which was just here. And we did the fender. Just hold that up. And we did the fender as well. So look how well this is getting on, guys. It looks absolutely incredible. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Please make sure um, you set the bell so you don't miss out on any more videos. And I'll see you guys real soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.